Merry Christmas, everybody. We're going to start it here in about four minutes. You can see Greg is already ready. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for being with us, guys. We love you. People are still by the donuts. It's a big hit over there. Um, there's like 20 people there eating donuts and coffee. And they're stuffing their faces, which is good. It's encouraging. It's always encouraging to eat in Christmas time. I just want to say hi to Ada, Aries, Bea, Jane. Good to see you. Michelle, great to see you. Patricia, Ty, and of course, Juan and Socho. It's great being with you guys. It's a, it's a big hit over there. Yeah. Look at that fellowship. You want to give that a little, little space. I, I was like, yeah. 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 Yeah.
scrumptious donuts make your way to be seated we're going to get started here with our christmas service the elves came last night and decorated the public tree it's amazing how the elves work this time of, time of year they're great at decorating you cannot stop the decoration of elves because they know that santa is on the way okay santa is on the way kids good old saint nicholas I wanted to encourage you to grab your coffee, grab a donut, come on over, have a seat, encourage yourself. It's going to be a great and fantastic day. My name is Gio Garces. I serve as the uh, minister Woo! of the Shoreline Church of Christ, the ministry here. We're so grateful to be a part of this great church, this great family. If you're visiting with us, welcome to our family. We hope we're, we're treating you with love and encouragement. Because whenever we have our friends come, it's a very encouraging time. And that's what we do. We want to we wanna love people because that's our mission. Our mission is to love people around us in our world. I'm going to call us just to meditate for a moment. I want you to think about the birth of Jesus and just the miracle that it was that he survived. He survived living on this earth as a child, as a baby. And we want to honor and remember that because that was the beginning of our salvation. Without Jesus, there is no hope. There's no hope to repent, to change, to change course in our lives. There's no hope spiritually without him. So we want to honor that and remember that this glorious time as you exchange gifts to each other. As the wise men came traveling from the east to give the Judean king gifts of gold and myrrh and frankincense. That's what they did. It was awesome. So let's pray together. Let's, let's meditate for a moment together, then I'll pray. Father, thank you so much for sending Jesus down to be born. We're going to celebrate that. We're grateful for it. We're excited that he was born. But more importantly, God, how he modeled life for us. He modeled how to have relationships with you and with each other. So thank you for the example, Jesus. We're so thankful for you. We hope that you're encouraged and honored in worship this morning as we praise you, as we, as we sing songs. As we do our Christmas readings to you, God, just sharing the story of what you've done and just being encouragement to each other. It's in Jesus that we pray. Amen. Amen. Several members of our family here in Shoreline are going to be doing readings this morning. And in between the readings, we're going to have songs. When to start us off, we're going to have our worship team lead us with two songs. We're going to have two readings, two more songs for communion, two more readings, and then we're going to have some special songs at the end. So please enjoy the service. And for those who are reading, thank you for helping us this morning. Woohoo! All right. Christmas songs. Stay seated with your drinks, uh, hot stuff, and uh, don't have to stand up. 
Uh, everybody have a song sheet. We have extras. Uh, if uh, you need a song sheet or look on with somebody, uh, Joy to the World. Joy to the World, let's start off there. And we'll sing two songs that open the service. Joy to the World. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Everybody, hey, whoa. Joy to the world. Faithful? Okay. guys appreciate it yeah. all right guys i get to start us off with our reading Come on, so i'm gonna go ahead and get started before we had anything to offer him before we even opened a bible or even walked into a church building before we lifted our voices in praise or put our hands to his work even before creation itself god was pursuing us with his love yet we don't deserve the love of god we are gossips and worriers we are lazy and irritable. We are controlled by our lust and our appetites. 
We search after everything but God and turn our backs on him at every opportunity. Yet he still comes after us, chasing us and longing for a relationship with us. Because he loves you and is pursuing you right now, he knows you, your thoughts, and your actions. And still, he wants to be close to you. So this morning, drink deeply of him and his love. No matter where you come from or where you're headed, no matter what may be going wrong in your life or right, no matter who has let you down or you've disappointed, God has sought you out and brought you here to say, I love you. His love was announced by a baby in a manger. His love was proven by his body on a cross. So we ask that at this time and in this place, you think about him, that you put aside for a moment thoughts of trees and presents and malls and meals, and instead you do nothing else but dwell on God's love. Hi guys, I'm Ryan, um, and I'm going to be talking about the promise here. So um, ever since the fall of the man in the Garden of Eden, all creation has awaited its Savior. The promised seed that will one day restore paradise. Season after season, it has waited. Century after century. Millennium after millennium. Dormant but expected. The hope of a Savior is a universal longing. In pagan myths, an echo of that hope, however distant or muffled, can be heard. In ancient legends, a glimpse of that dream, however vague or distorted, can be seen. Within Israel, the hope was more distinct and the dream was more vivid. It was the hope of every expectant mother and the dream of every patient father. The dream of a savior and the hope that he would come soon. Over the centuries, the identity of the savior was progressively revealed. A paragraph of the promise was shown to Abraham and revealed that the savior would come from his line and be a blessing to all the world. A thousand years later, another portion of the promise was given to King David. The savior would be a descendant of his and an heir to his throne. A few, a few centuries later, it was revealed to the prophet Isaiah that the virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. And that the people, and that the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. For to us, a child is born, to us, a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Throughout the centuries, the Savior's features grew more and more distinct. As prophet by prophet, he was revealed. A word at a time, a sentence at a time, an image at a time. Then finally, almost 2,000 years after Abraham's initial vision, a group of wise men called Magi. We're looking for a sign that the Savior have, has been born when they notice something unusual in the night sky. Matthew says, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. This is going to be our communion song. We did it last week, uh, Silent Night. Sing along. Okay, Silent Night.
suppose you could give a gift to Christ, what would it be? How could you possibly select a gift for the one who not only has everything, but who made everything? The wise men did, and they came to be an example for us. In addition to the gold, frankincense, and myrrh, they gave the Savior some gifts we can give him today. Their hope, their time, and their worship. The wandering wise men gave Jesus their hope. When everyone else saw a night sky, this small band of men saw the light. The sight of the star sparked a desire in their hearts that sent them packing, and they went seeking Jesus. When night comes to your world, what do you see? The darkness or the stars? Hopelessness or hopefulness? Sometimes, just as he did so long ago, God uses the darkness to reveal his stars. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has, has, or has not overcome it. That's in John 1, 5. If your heart has been shadowed by the darkness of the loneliness or grief or dis disappointment, look for the light that only he can give. And he says, I am the light of the world. The person who follows me will never live in darkness, but will have the light that gives life. So this Christmas, give God your hope. While you're giving, give God your time. The wise men did. Before they gave their presents, they gave their presents. It's likely that these men traveled for as long as two years before locating the Prince of Heaven. Before that one incredible moment when they knelt before Jesus, the wise men spent many moments, months, perhaps even years, searching in anticipation of that meeting. Just as the wise men devoted themselves to seeking the Savior, so can you. You will seek him and you will find him when you seek him with all your heart. Jeremiah 29, 13. Time. How could something so abundant be so fleeting? There are only so many months in a year, only so many days in a month, and only so many hours in a day. While others worry about how much time they have, these men use their time wisely. Jesus once asked, can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? Luke 12, 25. This Christmas, give God your time. It's probable that these were men of wealth. It's likely that they had influence. They must have had intellect. Men of wealth influence and intellect? What did such men do when they saw Jesus? They fell down and worshiped him. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshiped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Matthew 2, verse 11. Worship is a gift that extends to the giver as well. Through worship, we come to see God more clearly. God invites us through worship to see his face so he can change ours. He loves to change the faces of his children. In worship, we simply stand before God with a prepared and willing heart and let God do his work and he does. By his fingers, wrinkles of worry are rubbed away. Shadows of shame and doubt become portraits of grace and trust. He relax, relaxes clenched jaws and smooths furrowed brows. He touches our cheeks and wipes away the tears. Come to me, all ye who are struggling hard and carrying heavy loads and I will give you rest. Put on my yoke and learn from me. I am gentle and humble, and you will find rest for yourselves. My yoke is easy to bear, and my burden is light. 
Matthew 11, 28 through 30. The gifts of hope, time, and worship. Three gifts the wise still give. Okay, we're gonna have the kids join us now. And we're gonna sing a song with them. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay. You got it. The first evangelists were shepherds. It was a task for which they had no skill, no special gift, no theological teaching, or individual training. What they had and all they had was a divine encounter. The shepherds lived in a gypsy encampment outside Bethlehem. Because their profession made it difficult for them to observe the orthodox ritual of washings, they were considered unclean and shunned by most. Because they were untutored in the law, they were considered ignorant. Because they were without roots in the community, they were considered suspect. This knot of shepherds on the fringe of society spent the night watching the flocks huddled around the fire. The night is clear, the moon full and bright, the sky, the sky studded with stars and the air pungent with the scent of sheep. Except for a few faraway bleats, the hillside is quiet for now. The fire is almost out when suddenly the curtain of the night is parted by an angel spilling the glory of heaven everywhere. The incandescent light wakens the men who fall on their faces trembling and cover themselves with their coats. Though the appearance of the angel is terrifying, the utterance of his words is not. Don't be afraid, he assured them. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. From within their coats, their eyes steal a glance at the angel who declares, today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Prophets for, had foretold of this savior. Kings had looked forward to his rule, and the birth of each baby boy had kept the hope of his coming alive. From peasants to patriarchs, all Israel awaited him. Again, the angel speaks. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. At last, could the time be now? Could the place be here? Could it be him? The curtain of heaven opens wider, revealing a company of angels, their voices joining together in a chorus of praise. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to men on whom his favor rests. Imagine what has happened. On these earthiest of men, the favor of heaven has come to rest. To them, the glory of the Lord has been revealed a glory that had not been witnessed in Israel for hundreds of years. To them, the good news, hidden since the foundation of the world, has been proclaimed. Who would have ever considered the birth announcement of God's son to be sent to them, unclean, ignorant, and suspect? The shepherds were shepherds in stumble over each other and run to Bethlehem searching stable after stable. At last, they find the one where the child has been born. As they enter, the walls of the stable are awash with shadows and the faces of the shepherds are awash with awe. There he is, just as the angel said, wrapped in strips of cloth and lying there amid the straw with white cloths wound so tightly around him. He looks to them like a newborn lamb so fitting that the news of the birth of the Lamb of God would come to shepherds and that the reception would be hosted in a stable. Blessed are the meek. That's why the announcement went first to the shepherds. They didn't ask God if he was sure. He knew what he was doing. He, had the angel gone to theologians, they would have first consulted their, their commentaries. Had he gone to the elite, they would have looked around to see if anyone was watching. 
Had he gone to the successful, they would have first looked at their calendars. So he went to shepherds, unclean, ignorant, suspect. A man who didn't have a reputation to protect or an ax to grind or a ladder to climb. Men who didn't know enough to tell God that messiahs aren't found in a feeding trough. So while the theologians were sleeping and the elite were dreaming and the successful were snoring, the meek were kneeling. They were kneeling before the one. Only the meek will see. They were kneeling in front of Jesus. Okay, now we're gonna have the kids come in and join us. Again, for reading about the Christmas story. What an amazing account that was. Good job. I want to thank Los Niños de Israel, the little kids of Israel. Thank you so much. Great job singing. Uh, I did want to have just a couple of things before I close us out in a prayer and we can have some great fellowship. Is I want to remind you to pick up your book. Uh, I believe it's $8. It's $6, Six today. $6 today. $6 today. After today, it'll be $8. It'll be $8. Today. So pick up your book. It's it's a prayer book. We're going to be doing this together as a church. We want to invite you to join us to do it together of a prayer time, daily devotionals as a church as we kick off 2022, a whole new year for us. And we're just excited to be together. We're excited to pray together. We're excited to see God answer our prayers and see, uh, see your life grow and change and also see those of our friends' lives grow and change. Anything else? Right? Yeah, I wanted to thank everyone who came early today to help set up. Ryan Figueroa, Ryan Swan, Logan, um, wait, Savannah, and you see they even decorated the tree. Yeah, yeah Hogan ladies. Yeah. Nicole Hogan is amazing. Her and uh, Rachel put this all together, brought the tree and all the ornaments. Thank you so much.
hands up probably for the next month <laughs> but uh savannah v-neck has her nice camera so she's willing to take photos of families and everything on, in front of the tree yeah. after service so um she's there and she'll be available for whoever wants if you want to take with friends kids whatever you want she'll take the photos please help yourself to donuts hot cocoa and coffee we have plenty left over thank you have a great christmas Great donuts. Self care is important. Have some donuts. It's awesome. I'm going to close down a prayer. It's going to include just everything. God blessings to you and your family during the Christmas travels. Also going to pray for our contribution. Don't forget about the Lord Jesus. It's Him you want to honor first as you as you shop and spend your way uh, throughout the holidays. Just think about the Lord first, um, and just really a, a spirit of protection around us. Don't forget about if you're interested in a New Year's Eve celebration, it's going to be at our house on December 31st. Maisha's got a great party lined up. It's a masquerade party. You know, we don't like wearing masks, you know, but on this night, we're going to make an exception. You know, we don't like to put falsity, but tonight, that night, we're going to be all, you know, we're going to be someone else that night, right? Okay. Monte Cristo, right? It's coming out, the Monte Cristo. It's coming out. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, one other thing, too. Um, next week, we will not be here for service. It's going to be on uh, YouTube or on our Shoreline website. We'll have a button for you to, to go into the YouTube. It's going to be pre-recorded so you can enjoy a time with your family. Amen. I'll give you something special on the, on the YouTube. I'll, give, I'll, I'll do a lesson for you, a little devotional for you. But we're not going to have a service here next week. Because we're going to need some time off to relax and recuperate. Come on. Yeah. Recuperate. I need my donuts, too. Okay. <laughs> I need, I need self care. All right. Let's, let's break. Oh, yeah. I also want to welcome, where is she? Where is she? Alexis Burns has returned. Has returned. I know she said this already a thousand times to her dad who made a one day trip to Arizona and back. I know she's already told her dad, Dad, you are the best dad in the entire world for driving all day there, all day back and bringing yourself. Hey, welcome home, Alexis. <laughs> And Rachel Hogan came for a visit from Syracuse, of course. We pull her back just for the singing. <laughs> Let's pray together. God, we ask for your blessings on our family, on our children, on our on our, our, our parents, our immediate family, our uncles and aunts that we're going to visit. We're so thankful for this holiday to, to just see people that we don't often see. And it's encouraging. Help us to love them as best as we can, God. Pray for our, our contribution and our gift to you, God, like, like the uh, wise men did. Help us be wise with our finances. Help us be wise with our income. Then we may glorify you and spread the good news and the good cheer of the birth and the death and the resurrection of Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. 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 That concludes our service. Enjoy the fellowship. <laughs> Guys, there's a, there's a massive crowd today. A lot of people out here. Da na 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 na. na. Picture taken before the line gets big. Picture taken. All right. There they are. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Yes, sir. What's your question, sir? How old, how old is he now, or how old is he on Earth, or do you want to know the answer? Like, how old is he now? I got a question. How old is Jesus? That's a great question. How old is Jesus? Okay, Jesus. Is, this might hurt your head for a second. It might hurt your brain. But he always was. He is eternal. He always existed. See, it's hard because we, we, we came into existence. He didn't. He was already there. But when he was on earth, he lived about 33 years. 33 years on earth when he was born. Pretty good, huh? All right. It's a great question, Malik. It's a great question. Merry Christmas. Got a great sister here. Oh, sorry. You don't want to be on camera. Oh, okay. let me, let me, let me uh, do this. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, Patricia. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 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 Merry Christmas. Christmas.
Merry hey, Christmas. we're fellowshipping here. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye, Merry Christmas. Just giving you some little flavor of the fellowship, guys. Little flavor of the fellowship. Hey, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Is, is the, is the, uh, the yeah. Merry Christmas. 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 A lot of we're gonna to go to the self care table. The self care tables right here. Uh, self care. <laughs> it's just funny to say. It's just kind of. It's, it's like it's like an opposite funny. Self care. For sure. Self care. It's like, hey guys, Merry Christmas. Our brothers and sisters are online. Just like, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Hey, guys, say Merry Christmas to our, our, our folks online, our brothers and sisters. There's Raul and Elise. So good job singing, dude. You guys are great singers. It might be a career for you guys in the future, guys. I'm going to record that. She's like, no. He's like, nope. Hi. Just say hi. Just hi. encouraging our, our brothers and sisters online. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hi. 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 Where we at? Where we at? Hey, where we at on it? We, we outside. outside. Oh, no. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Bing bong. I can see how you did that. I gotta make sure I gotta I gotta tilt this better. <laughs> I gotta tilt this better. I gotta get some I gotta get some better tilt on this thing. Can I tilt this a little better? How do you do this? How do you? I don't know how to do this. It's fancy. It's a fancy stick, I guess. I don't know how to do it too well. How do you Make it into like, oh, I see, I see. No, I see. I don't really know. Anyway, that's that's Mo right there. What would you say to Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Our college ministry right here in the house, in the hizzy. All right, guys. I'm gonna take over to the Christmas tree right now. Everyone's getting their photos done by Savannah. All right, I think good. What a family photo! What a family photo! Wow, this is Savannah. She has like, approval. Wow, because of oh, the that was yeah. 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 you're old enough to <laughs> Okay, we love you guys. You want to sign up? We love you all. Enjoy the time with your family and friends. Remember, yeah. on December 26th, is going to be a YouTube premiere service. I'll do a little bit of Christmas devotional for us. And we love you. And thanks for being here with us. And, um... <laughs> Bye to you. We're going to say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Okay. Love